Have you ever wondered why airplanes don't fly straight? It's a question that might have crossed your mind as you observe the flight path on your airplane's GPS, or perhaps on a flight tracker application on your phone. The path often appears curved, not a straight line as you might expect. This, my friends, isn't a glitch in the system, nor is it due to the pilot's love for artistic flight paths. It's because we live on a big, beautiful, round planet. Yes, the Earth's curvature plays a significant role in determining these seemingly curved flight paths. Think of it like this. If you were to draw a straight line on a globe, it would appear curved when you unroll the globe into a flat map. This principle applies to our air travel as well. So the next time you're on a flight, remember, you're not just going from point A to B, you're actually taking a curved path. Now, it may seem strange to think that planes don't fly in a straight line. After all, wouldn't that be the shortest route? But here's where we need to break away from our flat, two-dimensional thinking and embrace the three-dimensional reality. This is where the concept of great circle distance comes into play. Imagine an enormous sphere. That's our Earth. Now visualize the shortest distance between two points on this sphere. That's a great circle route. It's a straight line in three-dimensional space, but when we project it onto a flat map, it appears as a curve. Hence the misconception that airplanes don't fly straight. This might seem counterintuitive, but it's all about perspective. When you're navigating a globe, the shortest distance isn't always what appears to be a straight line on a two-dimensional map. So, in actuality, airplanes are flying the shortest possible route. It just doesn't appear that way on our maps. But there's another twist to this tale. Did you know Earth's rotation plays a part in this too? Yes, it's true. Our planet spins on its axis, and this rotation contributes to the curved path our airplanes take. This is all thanks to something called the Coriolis Effect. Named after the French scientist Gaspard Gustave de Coriolis, who first described it in the 19th century, this effect is a result of Earth's rotation. As the Earth spins, it causes moving objects to veer off their straight line course. So, think of an airplane in flight. While it may seem to us on the ground that it's flying straight, from a cosmic perspective, it's curving along with the Earth's rotation. This is because the Coriolis effect is causing the airplane to deviate from its intended straight path, making it follow a curve instead. So, between the Earth's curvature and its rotation, our flight paths end up being more of a graceful arc than a straight line. So, there you have it. Quite a journey, wouldn't you agree? A delightful adventure through the skies, traveling straight yet curving, all due to our Earth's unique qualities. Let's take a moment to circle back to the key points. Airplanes, in fact, fly in a straight line in three-dimensional space. Still, when we look at their paths on a two-dimensional map, they appear to curve. This is not an illusion or a trick, but a simple consequence of our spherical Earth's curvature. Moreover, the Earth's rotation has a fascinating impact on our flights. As it spins on its axis, it subtly influences the path your plane takes, creating a dance between the aircraft and the planet. So the next time you find yourself gazing up at a plane cruising through the sky or tracking a flight on your smartphone, take a moment to appreciate the dance. Remember, it's not just flying, it's dancing with the Earth's curvature and rotation.